Hey guys, people have come up to me and asked me what it takes to be a good apprentice and what a journeyman's looking for in an apprentice. So I've got some things jotted down here and uh, would like to share them with you so maybe you can become a good apprentice. Uh, first thing is your attitude. You've got to have a good attitude um, because you are going to get the shit jobs. Be ready for them. That's part of being an apprentice. Um, you're going to learn how to push a broom. Uh, how to dig a ditch, especially digging ditches, uh, where the trash cans are on the job site because you're going to be doing the shit jobs. You're pretty much the bitch of the journeyman. Um, so get ready for that. That's, uh, that's number one thing. If uh, a journeyman sees that your attitude's shitty, you're going to be ran off a job and you may be doing something else next week for all I know. And I don't really care. Um, if you don't have a good attitude, to me, that's a big safety concern. So uh, have a good attitude. Um, uh, another one is uh, dress for the job. We don't want to see your ass hanging out of your pants. We don't want to see you slipping around in your house shoes. Bring your work clothes, boots, jeans, whatever, long sleeve shirt. Be ready to work. Because you're going to. Um, when you show up to the job site, don't smell like last night's six pack or 12 pack or 30 pack, whatever it is. We don't want to smell it. We don't even want to hear about it. Um, so be ready to work when you show up. Don't be hungover. Oh, what else we got? Uh, your phone. Keep your phone in your lunchbox or your vehicle. We don't want to see it on the job site at all. We don't want to see earbuds in, nothing. We want to be able for you to listen to what's going on and listen to the voice of the journeyman. If he needs something, you need to be there. So keep your earbuds and your phone and all the other crap off the job site. When you're at the yard, <coughs> excuse me, get the truck ready in the morning. Unload the trash, clean it up, wash the windows, uh, fill up the water can, restock the truck with material. That's going to do two things for you. First, it's going to show you and teach you where the material is on the truck. And also, you're going to learn what the material is. So restock the truck, clean out the back, get ready for today's job, whatever it's going to be. When you get to the job site, roll out the cords. Roll out the cords, get the ladders unloaded, get material set out for the day. Um, journeymans don't want to do that. They're off talking to the super, laying out the job, thinking about what they need to do. So you may think they're off dicking around and they're really prepping for today. So they don't want to go prep for today and then come back and have to unload material. So that is, that's your job and get used to it. So also, you need to remember you are the bitch of the journeyman. He is going to test you and test you and test you. Um, he may not even remember your name for the first week because he's putting you through the test. If, uh, if you make it through the first week, maybe he'll remember your name. Maybe two weeks later, he'll show you a little trick. So get used to that. Get ready for that. That's going to happen. Why do I want to show you everything I know or what you need to know the first day if you're just going to go whining off and not show up tomorrow? Or the next day. I just wasted my day showing you what's what needs to be done. And you didn't even show up the next day. So you're going to have to kind of see what the journeyman thinks of you. And see what he wants, to, wants you to know. So uh, what else we got? Journeyman. Da, 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 da. Um, there it is. Have fun. You guys... Uh, 
The job sites are awesome. They're shitty sometimes. It may be cold. It may be hot. But you're going to learn, learn some cool stuff, see some cool stuff, meet some neat people. So always have fun. Um, it's, it's great out there. If you can get through the apprentice and learn the trade of, and then become a journeyman, it's going to be great. A journeyman's card will get you a lot of food on your table if you want it, a lot of Christmas presents, and a lot of smiling faces. A lot of uh, people have made a living out of being a, an electrician, but you have to go through the ranks. So the first one is apprenticeship, and it's shitty, but it's fun. So that's all I've got for now. So as always, you guys be safe out there, and we'll catch you next time.